brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station 1. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Thai Clinic has its big rim sale on. Get 20 to 50% off on the latest styles and sizes. We carry a variety of tires and tie equipment for agriculture and industrial needs at the best prices. Located at Kuva Shikonas and Pleasant Park, the Thai Clinic is tire for every need. your business or company not making money that's because no one knows about you advertise on crime watch the number one show and watch your business transform call us at 294-481-225-4327 or 225-3250 Step into a world of opportunities at CTS College, where education is beyond academics. Winner of over 50 world prizes, as well as ACTT Student Service Award. It's a college of your choice for quality education, guaranteed to unlock your true potential. Internationally recognized degree programs. Choose a degree that is right for you. Come in for your free career guidance session and start your future today with CTS College. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, eight spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Enhance the space with Extreme Home and Tiles Flying Limited. Get porcelain and ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space spaces, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Bonus or call 299-3271 for more info. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work, and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp, or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services, and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience, and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20 ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. 
Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Not a sprint. It's a marathon, Jen. You know that. You got this. Nutrients for immune system support, heart health, and energy metabolism. But remember, you have more than regular energy. It's Jennifer Lopez energy. Or J-Lo energy. Seems forced. Jenny from the block energy. Overdone. Jenergy. Jenergy! Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Welcome to eFix Investments Limited, your one-stop destination for all your home essentials. Transform your bathroom with our exquisite range of showers, enclosures, luxury bathtubs, modern toilets, faucets, ceramic sinks, and vanities. Enhance your kitchen with our stainless steel sinks. Our extensive selection includes bath, kitchen accessories, as well as security doors. Visit our showroom today at Southern Main Road, Homeland Gardens, Knupia, and let your dream home become a reality. Call us at 665-2282 or 671-2282. eFix Investments Limited, your home, your style, our passion. Obesity is a chronic disease and serious health issue in today's society associated with multiple comorbidities. At KSR Medical, our specialty is a medical treatment of this condition. Our doctors and pharmacists work together to help patients achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle through our five nutrient weight loss programs. Patients can lose one to two pounds in inches per day. Major health benefits also include decreased risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, certain cancers, joint pain, lowered blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and improved mobility. Trust KSR Medical with your weight loss journey. Give us a call now to get started. Visit Domus Windows and Doors Caribbean UPVC Solutions, located at 57 Factory Road, Chaguanas. Get a wide range of glass options, including security laminate. Customization is our specialty to achieve sound reduction and energy savings. Check out our standard size stock windows and high quality bargains on ready to go units. Call us at 235 3700 or visit www dot domuswindows dot com Mata Imports Limited the number one pickup shop for the best quality price and service check out their showroom at number 750 Papery Road Lower Barapo for a wide variety of 4x4 SUV and car accessories you name it 
they have it. Mata Imports has all the latest items in the market. The 4x4 boss is always taking you to the next level in the automotive industry. So contact them today at 654-5234 or 360-8773 for further information. There's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always beeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always beeping by the fence. I still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on our minds. Stop crying much if you really really wanna stop crying. Be safe when you're home. Be safe when you're street. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always beeping by the fender. Still crying much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. I had a dream. I had a dream like my new day. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. There's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a there's a jungle loud there and the hunt is on. A jungle loud there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. 
we gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I ain't really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down We gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, there's a jungle out, there's a jungle out, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I ain't really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there hunt and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I ain't really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on a jungle, there's, a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down, we gonna hunt you down We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I ain't really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence I still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on There's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on, we're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I ain't really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I ain't really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fence I still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we are back, top of the evening, too. All those of you who are locked online, a special good evening to you. All those of you who are looking at me from all over the world, a special, special good evening to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you had a quiet weekend. In fact, we have seen seven murders, seven persons killed. In fact, just a short while ago, minutes ago, a man was shot dead in the Marval area. That is... um. The street, the street. Beard Street. Beard Street in Marval. Okay? Okay. All right, so we're hearing about more than one incident, but nevertheless, so Marval is running very hot right now. A man was just shot. So during the course of the show, we will get, you know, all the details. What... 
send the um is it multiple multiple or just one Send him, send him. Send him now. Dispatch your camera crew. I want videos. I want videos. I want videos. Tell him hurry up. I want videos. Videos from both crime scenes. Beard and Meraldo. We're here in a situation in the Meraldo area. Send them one time. Before quarter past seven. Those of you who have info from the Beard area, Marval and the Meraldo Meraldo Marval. So, well, what's up here on 294-4081 or you can go straight to my website ianallen.org no username, no password you can send all your photos you can send pictures and everything there and um, so we are dispatching a crew right now straight to that area a total of six persons were recorded were murdered in this country between Friday and Monday. The murders took place in Central Division, Northern Division. Two, two, two of the victims were stabbed to death while the others were shot. One female was among the murder victims. Now we are hearing about this one. So this can be eight. Yeah, this can be eight because I'm here, I'm, I'm seeing a body at, at Baird Street in Maraval. That is all we have right now. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, my calls are forwarded to front desk. Yeah? So those of you trying to get in contact with me, my calls are forwarded, forwarded to front desk. Okay. A man was stopped to death, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, go I'm going to take you straight to Grandy because I want to make sure because we, go we just dispatched a camera crew. They're going to go down there. They're going to go on all, the on all the scenes. Make sure get the video. Those of you who are, who are looking at me on ianallen.org on um, Ian Allen Network on YouTube. Yeah, Ian Allen Network on, on, on um, Facebook also. Look out for the videos. We just dispatched someone. Monitor. Make sure he gets down there really, really fast. Um, a man was stabbed to death in Sandy Grandi on Monday, the 26th of February. The deceased have been identified as 36-year-old Ansel Ramkelawan of Graham Tree, Sandy Grandi. Around 12.05, Ramkelawan was standing in front of a burger cart near the East, East Line Casino along Eastern Main Road when he got into an altercation with a man. During the confrontation, the suspect brought the pull out a knife and stabbed Ramkelawan several times in the chest, killing him at the scene before walking off. The police were notified and the responding officers, along with the DMO, visited the scene and declared the victim dead. The search was subsequently mounted for a suspect who is still at large. Again, ladies and gentlemen, there was a stabbing in Sandy Grandi. It claimed the life of a 36-year-old Ansel Ramkelawan of Graham Trace. Apparently, they were standing in front of a burger cart near East Line Casino. And um, that's where the altercation. I tell the trouble really easy to come. Uh, this is a shot to the area. Go ahead. I was sleeping and I got a call from a perfect stranger telling me, Mother, your son died, Ansel, right by East Line. When I reached there and asked the police why they didn't call me, this because I'm a heart and a stroke and a diabetes. They told me they was going to call me in the morning. I said, why in the morning when everything's down clear? They're supposed to call me immediately. Or the police body was in another report when they get the report. And when they do here again, and they leave. They said the man dead. If they had reached in time, because they have many people in that station, but they can't reach immediately. My son does still be alive. But when we reached, the hand was in chest and it dropped. They will die. How many stabs you got? One, they say, one with the ice pick. And he went by the market, because two went by the market, he now stabbed a man. The people, as we reach, the people tell me, pick a two, stab this one, pick a two, stab this one. Nothing. He had a little money on him. And he was drinking a Guinness but earlier on. You could tell me a big vehicle, one vehicle up. Why didn't when they say that? 
Why do you pick him up and watch him till he was back? He will still be alive. He will still be alive. Not too far. From his line, not too far. Immediately the car cut and he will be alive. He stabbed a man. What is the man's name? Mosai. He stabbed Mosai. Mosai dead in his spot. And he was hiding. Now we don't know where he is and he continues to go kill more people and go kill more people. He do have killing and he got away, he could do many more. So he say he go kill more and he go get away free. Always using that word. Always saying that word. Right? He go kill more and he go get away free. Get away with one, he go kill more. But he take the wrong person, son, to come out. Because I'm not taking it easy. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you saw anything and um, if you saw about the incident, that apparently there's a relative of the deceased. Get in contact with me. This is in Grandy, of um, Graham Tree, Sandy Grandy. The last murder that took place in Sandy Grandy area was on Friday, 27th of October, 2023, when 22 year old Jesse Kevin Skeet was shot dead at number five Northeastern Settlement. That was the last time Grandy was running hot. That was the last time. Um, homicide visited Grandy. That was on the 27th of October, 2020. If you have any information about these murders or your families of the deceased wish to come and see me, um, you all can call and, and just make an appointment and we'll take it from there. I'm going to take you on Sunday. A Latino woman died. This is on Sunday. A Latino woman died after she was beaten and stabbed during a confrontation with another female Latino in Kunupe on Sunday. The deceased has been identified as Isabella Lusado. That is all we have. She's been identified as Isabella Lusado. This is so sad, eh? Around 3 30 p.m., Lusado and other women reported got an argument at the apartment building along Southern Main Road in Kunope. During the altercation, the woman hit Lusado several times in her face, causing her to pull out a knife and stab her on her shoulder. The woman fled, however, she later returned and with her boyfriend and assisted her in beating and stabbing Lusado, rendering her unconscious. Um, I, I'm trying to get, ladies and gentlemen, in contact with these two persons that could assist with the investigation. All right, the suspect then fled the scene and persons who the commotion contacted the police. Lusado was subsequently taken to Shogona's health facility where she succumbed to her injuries. So, you know, but it's, it, it, this is so tragic. This is so, so tragic. If you have any information, get in contact with me. Apparently, it's an apartment building in the Konopia area. That is all we have here. Um, trying to get in contact with these two individuals. Anybody who know the whereabouts of these two individuals, get in contact with me. These are the two, two individuals who could assist with the investigation. That is all we have. Lusa now, just to, just to let you know, Lusado was the seventh female to be murdered in the country thus far. The last female to be murdered in Trinidad and Tobago was 40-year-old Kimberly Bihari, who was gone down alongside 60-year-old Brian Jeffroy in a vehicle near Gaspar Bova Pass. That was the last person to get gone down in a vehicle. Something about this case is not something about this center. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I don't know. This song personal. I want the mother of this, I want the relatives of this girl to contact me. How many people were in the car? The husband? Uh huh. I don't know if this woman told somebody she was having marital problems. I don't know. I don't know. But something is not right. Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, she was going to the, to the airport. They hired a driver. The driver died. She died. And the, the, the driver's wife got shot. I don't know if this girl was having problems. I don't know. But something is not adding up with this. Something is not adding up with this. Something is not adding up with this. Somebody, I don't know. Because if they had to kill that taxi driver, they had to kill that taxi driver a long time. They wait for that girl to get in that car to then kill the taxi, to kill, to kill her. And clearly somebody knows she was heading to the airport, so she had to get killed before she reached the airport. So they hired a taxi, and the taxi man wife was in the car. If I am asking, ladies and gentlemen, that the that
Kimberly Bihari family get in contact with me. Make, make efforts to contact us. All right, you can WhatsApp me on my 2944081 or go straight to my website and I will respond. Remember, you can send pictures and videos. Those of you on the scene saw anything, you can do it anonymously. Let's say you're on a crime scene and you want to send me photographs, you want to send videos to us, you can send it to that site, ianallen.org. That's all you got to do. A man was shot and killed in Valencia early on Sunday, the 25th of February. The deceased has been identified as Keston Lamorel, a.k.a. Dogai. Shortly before 5 a.m., rev residents of Emmon Lane heard a series of loud explosions. Upon investigating, they, they, they found Lamorel lying in the ground, bleeding from multiple gunshot injuries. They immediately contacted the police and emergency health services, who responded and took Lamorel to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. This is the second murder that took place in the Valencia area for the month thus far. Second murder, yes, this is the second murder. Just on Wednesday, the 14th of February, it was on Wednesday, the last murder that took place in the Valencia area. It was on February 14, Valentine's Day. 71-year-old Mohan Singh of Silica Sand Road, Valencia, was found stabbed to death at his home. That's the last time, Val you know, Valencia had an incident. And I'm going to take you on Saturday now. See, I try, I, I, I try, you know, I have a nice picture to put up. I was at a bar on Carney Savannah Road, and sometimes you really just had to stop and check people, and, and it's just a cool scene. It was just a, some people like, you know, I, some of the guys, well, the, uh, the older guys know my, know, my, know my mother, and, you know, and they have some from Xavier Street. Xavier Street is right here going as the end. It was a nice photograph, and, you know, so I'll put up that photograph shortly. Shortly, I'm going to put it up. On Saturday, a taxi driver was killed moments after dropping off a passenger in Malabar on Saturday, 24th of February. The deceased has been identified as Gabriel Breed of Moonan Road, Wallerfield, Arima. Around 12.04 a.m., Reed reportedly dropped off a passenger at St. Joseph Avenue, Malabar. Shortly after, Reed was ambushed and shot multiple times, causing him to crash into a driveway near, nearby. Residents of the area heard a loud explosion and contacted the police, and re who responded and observed Reed's lifeless body driver's seat of his Nissan and Mera. The officers among a DMO to the scene who viewed the body and made their pronouncement and ordered its removal from the scene. So let's imagine there's a taxi driver who went to drop someone off at Malabar. So that is St. Joseph Avenue. After dropping them off, somebody ran out and shot them multiple times. Multiple, multiple times. And that, that's why I tell you, you know, some of you see these taxi drivers working at night so then you pass right your corners, you see them, you see them right on by busy corner, right on the right on the junction, right by busy corner, heading to Coover. I remember, ladies and gentlemen, when I used to travel to go home in Coover, there was this guy called Simmons. I don't know if he's alive. He had a dots. Uh, then they had one with a, a kind of greenish gallant. Everybody, everybody knew me. Everybody, everybody I used to take taxis and but you know, but Nevertheless, people who come out here to, at night to work, that is so dangerous from like crew up to Shagwana. Well, everybody who comes out at night, at the night to work, to, you know, because there are people who have to pay for their cars, work to own, all kind of things. You, know, you can never pay, you can, you can never finish pay for work to own. There's always some shots the owner will come with and seize the vehicle. There's so many people, that's why I tell you, go to a proper lawyer. Don't go to no bush lawyer. Go to a proper lawyer, take the contract that, you, that these people are giving you for work to own vehicle and take it to an attorney, pay a consultation fee and let the attorney peruse the document, go through the document, go through back to front, see what's going on. You understand? Because a lot of you getting stick with this work to own and people telling you, you have seven years to pay for the vehicle, no down payment, it's all kind of, it's all kind of shots, every, every, everybody, and sometimes people, People who are vulnerable, people with intelligence are going with that. People who are smart are going with that. But say, there are people vulnerable say, yeah, again a car, again a car, again a car, again a car. No, you need to check the document properly. Take it to a lawyer. Spend a four or five hundred dollars and take it to a lawyer and let that lawyer go through that document before you make any arrangement with any party to, to own a vehicle. Okay? Because a lot of people have been con, a lot of people are going on a certain road that it's not nice. 
The last person, the la in fact, the last taxi driver to be killed while applying for hire was Sherwin Finley, who was shot dead on 6th Avenue, Malik Barataria, early on Friday. That's the last taxi driver. Early on Friday, he was applying for hire, and he was shot multiple times on the 6th Avenue, Barataria, early on Friday. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man was shot and killed at his home in Arima early on Saturday. The deceased has been identified as 26-year-old 20, Akim Ralph of Pinto Road, Arima. A man was shot and killed at his home in Arima, at his home, yeah? Around 2.15 a.m., Ralph, his girlfriend, and their two-month-old daughter were asleep at their home in Valley View when they were woken by knocking on their front door. Ralph got up to check when he observed three armed assailants just in camouflage clothing, who demanded that he hand over a firearm to them. No man, Ralph, man. Ralph had to know what's going on. Why would three people come and ask for, the, and ask for a gun by your house? Something is not right. Something is not right. Why would three people come to your home at 2.15 in the morning and ask for firearms if, if, if the family of these deceased, and if you have lost your, your relative in the last few years and whatnot, and I think that, you know, there are a lot of people who need closure, and you might have a, a witness who, have, who, who saw something but is fearful. Come and see me, please. Let's fix this place. Let's fix this place. Let's fix this place. The deceased has been identified as Akim Ralph of Pinto Road. Remember, Ralph was Ralph awoken by a knocking on their front door. Ralph got up to check, and he observed three armed assailants just in camouflage clothing who demanded that he hand over a firearm to them. When he refused, the suspect shot him several times before fleeing the scene. Upon hearing the gunshot, Ralph's girlfriend made checks and found him suffering from gunshot wounds. The police were notified and the responding officers found Ralph's lifeless body at the entrance of his apartment. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you have to know what you're doing. You can't play mass and freight powder. You can't play mass. You understand? You cannot play mass and freight powder. Let's take a fast break. Get ready to save big in the new year. Get Easy Wrap Foil 2 for $20, Happy Pasta Cuts 4 for $20, Bumblebee Tuna Chunks 2 for $20, Axion Dish Paste 2 Pack $30, SNS Detergent Assorted $15, Mabel's Ketchup Flat Pack 4 for $30, Hungry Jack Pancake Mix 2 for $25, SNS Paper Towels 4 for $20, Rich Board Vegetable Oil 2 for $25, Suavitel Fabric Softener $120. This carnival, you can win a cooler filled with all your favorite drinks in our exciting No Place Like Home. Carnival Cooler Promotion. To enter, simply spend $300 or over and drop your entry in one of our entry boxes located at any SNS Passat Supermarket locations. Four convenient locations, Rio Claro, Mayaro and Freeport. SNS Passat Supermarket, loyal to local. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. 
That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Now open at our Montrose Shogunas branch, Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department, with a faster tire changer, the largest service bay to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. Total Tools One Stop Station by Salinas Marketing is the number one authorized distributor for original Total Tools products in the Caribbean. We are located at 797 to 799 Papery Road, Lower Barrack Po. Come in and take advantage of our specials on pressure washers, rotary hammers, cordless drills, mitre saws, chop saws, ladders, and more. Contact us at 654-5996 or 367-8665. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Attention all bakers, double spenders, and roti makers. Try our high-quality bromate free all-purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chicago Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715 or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Chicago Limited, quality you can trust. Are you diabetic, pre-diabetic, or at risk for diabetes? You need Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition. Two doses a day keeps the blood sugar at bay, cholesterol levels in check, and your immune system strong. Made with ancient Ayurvedic ingredients, Berberine, bitter melon, and banana leaf, Berberine Plus is clinically proven to improve glucose metabolism, enhance insulin sensitivity, and slows glucose absorption in the gut. Berberine Plus, providing a natural path to a healthier you. Pick up a bottle today at Pennywise and all leading pharmacies nationwide. Domus products are manufactured to international standards. Our products deliver superior value to our clients and are made to last at least 20 years. Step into our showroom at 57 Factory Road, Chaguanas, or 7 Arapita Avenue, Woodbrook. Visit our website at www domuswindows.com or call us at 235-3700 for information today. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-481-225-4327 or 225-3250. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, one ianallen at gmail.com or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You see, when you look at this show, you get what's happening. We have a shooting in, 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 in um, Bushes. What's the name of the street? Bear Street in Marval. Right? This is the video here. B 
bed sheet. Go ahead. I saw a man on a, a man standing next week. We have a video with him standing. That's the same incident. Okay, get it to edit it. I don't know, I don't want to hear about number Dropbox. Come out and, and speak to the people and I'm going to let them edit it. I don't want to no Dropbox. Come out and tell them what I want to edit. Like this. I just send it to you. So that's happening right now. Also, ladies, you know, apparently shot, two persons were just shot by, you know, we don't have any connection, but another two persons was just shot in the Moraldo Street, in, 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 in Moraldo. Am I right? Right. This is what's happening right now. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's police shooting. You know, going over this guy, but a man will pick up corn and my all up there. Two persons in the car. We sent, I sent close some videos. Why? Hey. Up like a movie there. Yeah, in future, in future, let us do that. Right. Two persons in the car, double. Apparently, they were yeah, shot by police. There, one, that is what we are hearing. They were one, shot by police. This one. Hi caller, good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. So this is what's happening right now, remember? When you look at Crime Watch, you don't even need to look at the news because you're getting news, news before the news. All right, you're getting news before the news. And you do a billboard for like that for me. News before the news. We have that billboard, right? We have one, we have one, news before the news. Okay. It's one, it, it's, just, yeah, it's just two incidents. Yeah. So there's a double, the, this one is police shooting, extra, extra judicial shooting. Now we don't know if they were connected because somebody, uh, they, if they were connected to the shooting in Beard Street, Marval. And they were, they were, caught by police, but this one here is police shooting. But strange enough, strange enough, go back to the video. If it was a police shooting, they would have cordoned off the area immediately. They wouldn't let civilians pass. They wouldn't let civilians stand around there. So that cannot be a police shooting. That cannot be a police shooting. If the police had shot them, they would have come out of the car, surround the car, call for backup, and nowhere civilians would have been able to make any videos or even go close to the vehicle. So it's a clear case that is not a police shooting. I tell you, in this dance too long, in too long, I in this, that is not a police shooting. They were shot and they're waiting for police to arrive. So that three separate shootings. So two, so now had a double murder, that is a double murder. There is a double murder in Marival. That is not a police shooting. Come back to me. Okay, so that's a double murder. That's a double murder. That is not a police shooting. If police shoot you, police coming out of the car, cordon off the area, started to divert traffic one time, nobody coming in. Nobody coming in, people giving me bye bye and thing. Nobody coming in from here, nobody coming in from there. And that's it. So that is not a that is not a, a double that is not a, a police shooting. Alright? The a, a man died at, at hospital moments after he was shot in La Hoqueta on Friday. The disease has been identified as Nicaro Sefontes, aka Ongs, of Derek Murray Drive, La La Hoqueta. Around 9.55, Sefontes was reported lying at the corner of Sylvia Hunt 
Victor Bruce Avenue in face for La Hockita when two armed men, when two armed with guns approached and shot him multiple times before fleeing. The police were notified and when he responded, officers arrived at the scene. They observed the victim lying in a pool of blood near Victor Bruce Avenue. They subsequently conveyed Sifontes to the Arima Health Facility. However, he died after being treated. So they, I tell you, this evening is running really, really hot. While the show going on, you're getting the news. The news, you're getting that there's a murder in Maraval and then two other persons just shot in a car. My those of you responsible for posting all social media personnel, make sure get all those videos, make sure they make, make sure they, 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 that they are properly blurred based on our viewership and, um, and, and the arrangement that we have with, with YouTube and all our social media platforms. We do not post graphic contents. Those graphic contents can be post can be seen on ianallen.org, unedited versions. Unedited graphic contents can be seen on my website. So every day, ladies and gentlemen, the, the graphic contents can be seen on, the, on my website. Okay? A man was shot and wounded in Enterprise on Saturday. The victim has been identified as 46-year-old Ralston Dakota of Maloney. Now, this is very, very sad, ladies and gentlemen, because I will tell you why. I know Ralston personally. In fact, at Dash Road area, he and other community persons they normally do classes for children who are a bit slow in school and, you know, they kind of fall back a bit. And they do that free of charge. They do classes and, and teach children, well, their yeah, school work and what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, and they, they, have, they, have, they have classes for children there who can't afford lessons and things. And this guy here, Rod Sunday Koto, he worked crime watch for many, many years. In fact, on and off, on and off, but he was around for many, many years when we started off. When I started off with videos, he was just yes, very, very sad. It is very sad. We don't know the circumstances as yet, but all I heard that he was not the target. That is all I heard he was not the target. Apparently, the gunmen, they were looking at, at, at persons in the pavilion, and Ralston, the Koto, was exiting the savannah. The area where they were given lessons, he went to, they had just cleaned up a class, a room, and they were continuing to bring in the kids. But thank God, nobody, you know, no child was shot, but it's very, very sad. And, you know, I want the community in, 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 in Das Road there to really support Ralston and see what help you all can, I think he needs blood. And it's very, it's, it's, I don't want to go into details. I really, really don't want to go into details. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, this matter is being investigated by the police. Lady, hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Also, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, a four-year-old boy was grazed. See, again, again, it, it, it's happening so many times, so many times. One ch we lost a child, 11-year-old last week. This time, a four-year-old grazed. Everywhere is bullets. Everywhere. Everywhere. Ralston coming out of Dash, Dash Street, Dash Street, Savannah there. Ralston gets shot because he won the target. They're preparing for school. They have children teaching classes and what. Everybody knew him as a very respectable boy. Everybody knows Ralston as a very, very respectable boy. And um, he does a lot of charitable work. It's just crazy what's happening. It's just crazy. But I know you all, with every, you know, people come together and... We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. A four-year-old boy was grazed by a bullet during a long-standing dispute between his uncle and a neighbor which escalated in Pitti Valley on Saturday. Around 6 a.m., 50-year-old Terrell Goodridge of Store Drive, Pitti Valley, was walking near his home with his nephew, four-year-old Nicholas Thomas, in his arms when he got in an argument with his, with his next-door neighbor. Godridge and his nephew put him left and walked through a truck. However, while on the way back to their home, they were confronted by a neighbor who fired three shots in their direction. Godridge was shot in his hands and his, buttock, his buttocks while the child was grazed on his left palm. You can imagine a man. Boy, this is craziness. And this man should be locked up and throw away the keys. You imagine... Okay. But apparently what we are here, 
Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, they said that it's been a long while that Godrich has been doing a lot of stuff. Like, he's fallen out with people and they... Go ahead. He, the, the next neighbor here and the man here about six months ago. The boss of the man here because the man had picked up big stone or whatever over in the yard and they hit the little child and thing and mm -hmm. they started a wrangle and thing and the boss of the man here. So the man would be premeditated mm -hmm. and buy a gun, right? Right? Yeah. Are you telling you what going on? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So the man premeditated them and buy a gun because the man is a man, he's a neighborhood man. He don't interfere with nobody. Look so there and everybody here. The man don't arouse nobody. I'm not talking bad about the man. The man is a good man. The man is a elder The man don't so be a nobody. The man so good. Yeah. yeah, the man is a good man. But the man get perform. So the man get fed up. When the, the man who the, the man who that girl he rabbit and his sister about six months ago, mm -hmm. going out there, he had a little rabbit a elder in the back here last night. So he checked in the Ella here now. And see the next Ella along there and tell him, boy, I don't deal with you already. Who do the, the man who do the, the shooting, he didn't mean to harm the little child now, boy. Oh, but the so man going through so much, all the only boss of the man here about six months ago. Man, that Ella boy. Man, those, he's the only man around here. This is the only Ella boy. I been real, boy. I ain't siding with nobody, boy. Man spit on my virgin father last night. Twice. Every action has caused a reaction, right? He, the, the next neighbor here and the man here about six months ago. The boss of the man here. Uh, the woman taught there, right? You see? But still, it's a serious thing. A child was injured. Apparently, Gonzales. What was he for the name? Godridge, sorry. Tyrell Goodridge, apparently, the man who did the shooting, he and the man had a back and out six months ago. And the fellow is saying that he's terrorized people and he's very disrespectful and provoking them and thing. And he spat on the man's face and the shooter face. He mashed up his, vandalized his place and whatnot. So, it's alleged that this same person damaged these, these vehicles and whatnot. All right? So the fella now, the fella who did the shooting, I tell you sometimes people can't take it no more, you know. But don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. But because look at, look at you today. Possession of firearm, shooting to endanger life, all kind of thing. A little child shot, shooting, wounding, all kind of thing. Look at that today. And you're, uh, and you're a senior person, but apparently he went and he got little fires. This is the fires. Where is that, at 22? I wonder if there's a Walters. Mm -hmm. All right, it looks like a Walters. And apparently, but he could not take it no more and thing. And while, while, while Goodridge and, and the four-year-old child walking the track and him, because remember they done bars him up again, so they walk away. He just might come and let go shot, po, 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 po. That's rage and. Yeah. He's a girl. Okay, and who's a girl? Hmm. He's the man, is a girlfriend. Birds of a feather flock together. You know, sometimes I, boy, sometimes I should go on these scenes and really see, yeah, and dramatize my cameraman and thing. And sometimes when you hear these things, I say, but I should have been there, you know. Them things don't happen. It don't happen when I am wrong. Them things don't happen. People don't take that goal out of the thoughts to start me. Great have people with me, they won't do that. Some people are just too disrespectful. They're just too disrespectful. Let's take a fast break. Thank 
you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, oneen.allen at gmail.com or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Obesity is a chronic disease and serious health issue in today's society associated with multiple comorbidities. At KSR Medical, our specialty is a medical treatment of this condition. Our doctors and pharmacists work together to help patients achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle through our five nutri weight loss programs. Patients can lose one to two pounds in inches per day. Major health benefits also include decreased risk of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, certain cancers, joint pain, lowered blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and improved mobility. Trust KSR Medical with your weight loss journey. Give us a call now to get Let's start it. Rain's Fresh Produce Retail Outlet and Wholesale Department, Rain's Pharmaceuticals and Rain's Tasty Food is a sole company dedicated to providing fresh local and imported fruits and vegetables, affordable healthcare and delicious meals for all at unbelievable prices. We have a wide variety to choose from apples, grapes, strawberries, plums to all your local produce. Wholesale case options also available. Enjoy our mouth-watering breakfast and lunch dishes prepared fresh every day. Our trusted and reliable pharmaceutical department is well stocked with all prescription medication, over-the-counter drugs and other health-related products. Head on down to number 83 Endeavor Road Shagornas and shop in comfort and safety. Contact us today. We are open Monday to Saturday. At Rains, we are committed to serving you. Beat the heat at Kingo Limited Auto AC Parts and Services. Our techs have years of experience keeping you cool and comfortable. Exceptional prices, quality work and outstanding services. Call, WhatsApp or come in today and take advantage of our many specials. Final extension, no further extensions. The India in Style Expo at the Dome Mid-Center Mall will be closing on the 3rd of March. Big sale and huge discounts, a few days left. Everything must sell. India in Style Expo at the Dome at the Mid-Center Mall is definitely closing on the 3rd of March. Just in time for Eid, the Fab India Expo opposite Medford Gas Station in Shigonas will be reopening on the 9th of March. We've got unique items available, one-of-a-kind Islamic outfits for male and female. We've got special gift items also available. Join us for Iftar every day, also catering the best groom and bridal outfits. Get matching jewelry, footwear, makeup and all that you need. Multi cuisine food court, reopening on the 9th of March. Fab India Expo opposite Medford Gas Station, Shigonas. Fun begins at Poisson's Deep Food King and Bright Onions. Dive into the thrill of our soap, slide, and skate promotion. For every $300 spent at Poisson's Deep Food King and Bright Ideas, grab your entry form and get ready to make a splash at Harry's Water Park with weekly winners beginning February 10th. That's right. Get the chance to win one of 50 tickets from Family 05 to Harry's Water Park. Your ticket to fun is just a purchase away. Let the adventures begin. But hurry, promotion ends April 12, 2024. And it's NLCB approved. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Is your vehicle in need of repairs and you're tired of paying expensive prices for inferior parts? Then Car City Trading is your solution. We carry a wide range of high quality brand new Korean auto parts at unbeatable prices. From the smallest sensors to a complete nose cut, head and block, suspension, body and electrical parts, engine parts, cooling systems, compressors, alternators, starters and more. We are ready to serve you at Lot 78 Bamboo Settlement Number 2. Call us at 615-2603 or WhatsApp 704-2246 to get your quote. Car City Trading, quality products at on beatable prices. Mata Imports Limited, the number one pickup shop for the best quality, price, and service. Check out their showroom at number 750 Papery Road, Lower Barrapore for a wide variety of 4x4 SUV and car accessories. 
You name it, they have it. Mata Imports has all the latest items in the market. The 4x4 boss is always taking you to the next level in the automotive industry. So contact them today at 654-5234 or 360-8773 for further information. PNV Marketing is number one for all your new and roll-on roll-off vehicles. 100% financing available on all vehicles. The best price and warranty for three years or 50,000 kilometers. Seven years warranty or 100,000 kilometers on hybrid batteries visit our showroom or give us a call today Paradise Pools and Spas Limited has the world's best brands in pool supplies and equipment. Our showroom is the largest in the Caribbean and is well stocked with a wide variety of cleaning equipment and chemicals for your pools and spas. We also carry pumps, filters, heaters, lights and so much more. Delivery services available throughout TNT. At Paradise Pools, we service what we sell and treat your pool right. Come into any of our three locations, Santa Cruz, San Fernando and Tobago. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram or give us a call. Paradise Pools and Spas Limited, celebrating 20 years of service to you. Family fun begins at Passat's Day Food King and Bright Onions. Dive into the thrill of our soap, slide, and skate promotion. For every $300 spent at Passat's Day Food King and Bright Ideas, grab your entry form and get ready to make a splash at Harry's Water Park with weekly winners beginning February 10th. That's right. Get the chance to win one of fifth day tickets from Family of Five to Harry's Water Park. Your ticket to fun is just a purchase away. Let the adventures begin. But hurry, promotion ends April 12, 2024. And it's NLCB approved. You know, ladies and gentlemen, a police officer from C City Corporation in Port of Spain was taken into custody at Freeport Police Station for, you have a, a give me a cover shot of Freeport Police Station um, for assaulting another police officer. A police officer was taken into custody. He's from the um, City Police Station the City Corporation Police and Municipal Police. Apparently he was charged for resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer. And he was taken into custody at Freeport Police Station. In fact, he was there at Freeport Police Station. So we're gonna just, I just, I just letting you know, so we're paying special attention. Do you know Marvel running really hot? Really, really hot, because here what happened? Shots was fired in the vicinity of the Marvel Police Station. The car, ladies and gentlemen, officers shot at the vehicle, and this is what we have here. But there's nothing to work on it. There, there's nobody in the car. Just use what I just sent to you, please. No, not this. I sent, I, I sent another one. Okay, just take it back from the group and, and, and post it, please. I can't wait for her to do that. The actual scene. Are we ready? Yeah, thank you. There's nothing for her to fix there. I don't have that time. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is what's happening in the Marval area. We don't, we don't know if anybody was shot. There's a, now, there's a third incident in Maravala. This is the third incident in Maravala. Apparently, shots was fired in the police station, and officers intercepted the car. We don't know if persons were shot, but this is what we have so far for you. Okay? Remember, in another case now, two persons were shot in a car. Two persons were shot dead in a vehicle. In this, what you, what you are seeing here, two persons in this vehicle. We had to blur it because very, very graphic, very, very graphic content. Two persons in that vehicle. We just showed you another video the same video, go ahead. The same video, go ahead. Hmm. We have this one, go ahead. 
This is the same figure, but I'm just showing you different angles. I'm trying my best to keep you all informed. Those of you who are looking at me on Ian Allen Network on Facebook and ianallen.org, these are exclusive images. Parental guidance is strongly advised. Make sure and have those billboards running, please. Parental guidance. And the other one, ladies and gentlemen, so these three cases, there are three incidents in Maraval. And the other one is a man on the ground saw police walking close by with this video. There's another one with police walking close, to the, close, close proximity to that body. I sent it on the group. This. How oh, nobody is seeing this. What is this? What is that? Do we have that? So why this was just sent to the back? And it's on the... Hmm. I don't need this after seven, you know. Also, ladies and gentlemen, residents of Laventil staged a peaceful protest in, on Saturday against gang violence near the spot where 11-year-old schoolboy Ezekiel Pario was, fit, was fatally shot on Thursday. Last Thursday, Ezekiel, a standard five pupil of Eastern Boys Government Primary School, was killed while his relative identified as 39-year-old contractor Akel Fabin was injured during a shooting along Map Trace Laventil Road near Rule of Charles Link Road. Around 4.50, Fabian was on his way home in his red Kia's Rio after picking up his 15-year-old daughter from school when gunmen who were allegedly familiar with his daily routine began following him. The assailants reportedly waited until Fabian pulled a lot aside along map trace and overtook his car where they began firing multiple shots. Fabian's daughter ran out of the vehicle. This happened last week. So they had a, a peaceful march, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead. This is where the little boy was killed. These are just images. Go ahead. Let me, let me just hear. Let me, can I just read some of the, um, the, the stuff right there? Okay, so you, when you are doing um, these marches, please use proper markers so it can be visible. Not just for people standing. So when, we, when media are highlighting it on the, on, on, the, on, on, the, on, the, on the network, you can see it. Try as much as possible when you're doing, when you're having protests and peaceful march and whatnot, please use proper markers. Okay, same here too. All right, so there was a march. Also, ladies and gentlemen, also, um, just to let you know, hey, I met some good people on Saturday, so on, on, on Sunday, yes, on Carney, Savannah Road, and I want to put them up. I want to put them up. Really, really good. Listen to me. These are people. These, these are my home people. Home people. I want to I say a special hello to them. Really, a, a good hello. I was on Carney, Savannah Road at a bar. Uh, I just stopped to say hello. This guy, they were Xavier Street people. These are people who know me for as, 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 a, as a little boy. You know, they know my, my mother and everybody. You know, but these are great people, decent people. And I want to say a special hello to them. And, so, and it's like family. We like family too, eh? It's family, so it's a family thing. All right, so we went, you know, they went to Rodney Road, um, sorry, on, on the um, Carney Savannah Road on Sunday at the popular body on Carney Savannah Road. And just having drinks, and I stopped, and I came out of my vehicle and I spoke to them, had a couple beverages with them. It was a, 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 good, a good Sunday afternoon. Okay, come back to me. Also want to say a special to a four, is a four-year-old boy who's celebrating his birthday today. Twelve, he's, um, his name is Aryan Siraj. Okay, happy birthday. I wish him all the best, you know. And also want to say a special happy birthday to Rodney. 
Rodney from Laramie. Rodney, what's happening, man? The Benz man from Laramie. Okay, hope you're having a good birthday and enjoyed, Rodney. Many, many years ago, I came. To, I, I was at Rodney's house for his birthday. He had a little eat up at his house, and that's many years ago. That is like hmm, I can't remember seven or eight years ago. Yeah, he cook up and whatnot. And then we're gonna take a fast break. I'm gonna show you what happened to a guy in the vicinity of a, a popular restaurant in Kuva when we come back. Start your career in IT with the BSc Information Technology from the University of Bedfordshire, delivered at CTS College. The BSc Information Technology equips students for the latest jobs in the IT field, benefit from online learning environment, dedicated program manager, WhatsApp groups with students and lecturers, shared drive with lecture notes, recordings, assignments, and more. Tutorial support for assignments. Email CTS College on study at ctscollege.com. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Get ready to save big in the new year. Get SNS Brown Sugar, two pounds, two for twenty dollars. Old Max Sardine, three for twenty dollars. Totally Active Detergent Powder, four for twenty dollars. Golden Brand Margarine, three for twenty dollars. Ibis Flour, two kilograms, two for thirty-five dollars. Great Food Boneless Ham, three pounds, two for hundred dollars. Whole Chicken, two for hundred and twenty dollars. Country House Corn Beef, two for thirty dollars. Orchard One Liter, two for twenty-five dollars. Blue Waters, five for hundred dollars. This carnival, you can win a cooler filled with all your favorite drinks in our exciting No Place Like Home Carnival Cooler Promotion. To enter simply spend $300 or over and drop your entry in one of our entry boxes located at any SNS Passat supermarket locations. Four convenient locations Rio Claro, Mayaro and Freeport. SNS Passat supermarket loyal to local. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious fully furnished air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside, fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. Get delicious meals and cold drinks at Double R Restaurant and Bar. Enjoy local cuisine daily and our Saturday Riverline menu, Fireside Duck, Cascadoo, Goat Head, Lagoon Rice, and more. Delivery available in the Shibonis area. Call us today for more info. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say a special. In fact, you saw the guys taking up the chocolate. Where you took up that chocolate from? Somewhere in Portland. He says, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Talk chocolate digestives. Look at him. He likes chocolate. What is he, boy? Big man like you putting chocolate in your pocket, boy. Watch. Just imagine. Shameless. Shameless. It's not a thing for that. But I, I'll tell all of this. And look how vexed with me because we're putting up the little black boys on them. So who vex loss? You can, you can put up the little black boys, but when the East Indians do the thing, people will say, nah, do, don't show all that now. Nah, don't show all that. You know what people tell me? Don't show, do, why are you showing all that for? But when, they, when, when the little black boys do, do their crime and, do the, and stealing, you say, nah, run it, run it, run it. That's why I tell you, every creed and race have an equal place on this show. Yeah, this show is not an East Indian show, neither a French Indian show. Sorry. You want to pick up chocolate? I don't care. We show it in your face. Show it back again. This is the man who take up the chocolate. Not a ledge, he likes chocolate. 
Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you know, because it's like, there's a real race thing, and when, when, when comedy highlighting things, people say, nah, you have to show all that. Why? When the, the, the black boys and them, when they get some time pad, now go and pay for your chocolate now. Go and pay for your chocolate. How much are chocolate? You shameless boy. You are not the nieces and nephews and cousins and things. You thief and chocolate. And you see, watch me. He can't say it's a mistake. You know, so now you're talking. So now you're going to the supermarket, you pick up something and you're talking and you forget to pay for it. Right? But you pay for your items. You pay for your item, but you pay for the one in your pocket. You pay for the one in your pocket. Pay for the one in your pocket now. You watch the camera. Hi, stop. Hi, you like chocolate. Use hot chocolate. Watch. Ooh, I'm walking out. That's a shameless thing. So you take out, you know, you know you had to pay for it now. So it's no mistake here. Yeah? Where's the mistake? He push it in the, in, in, in the pocket and he pay for the rest of the things. So he had to pay for the chocolate in the, in the pocket. Come back to me. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bacchanal. Seven acres of land. Seven acres of land was assigned to the the, 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 the ground in Pier Road. Seven acres of land. On what? Bridal Road? Check it back for me. John Peter Road. That's the road. Seven acres of land was assigned to the Savannah, the, the place there in John Peter Road. You know what went on in John Peter Road? That land was... No, the, 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 the sports people just used four acres... You know somebody, somebody, ladies and gentlemen, take the three acres and had deed for it? And that was given to the sports center. The seven acres of land was granted by Carney Limited, 1975, to the Shogona Borough Corporation for the construction of a recreational facility at John Peter Road, Charlieville. Four acres was used for the construction of the recreational ground. The document was passed to Shogona's borough to the sporting company which handles the maintenance of the ground. Work was stopped after the UNC lost election with three acres remaining. The documents were never handed back to the borough for the remaining three acres. About a month ago, 2024, a surveyor came and started blocking off the land saying it was not privately owned by allegedly by somebody by the name of Singh, Miss Singh. That is what we are hearing, Miss Singh. So I just want the people and them to know and I have the deed and everything so we need to get this on the Daily Gazette. Also, you saw when a man was robbed, when was robbed of his vehicle, go to that. Right opposite, um, what, what was the name of this nice restaurant in Coover? Balthazar. Balthazar has nothing to do with it. But it was just opposite the popular nice place, um, Balthazar. I also want to say a special talk to all those in nice place also. But this is Balthazar. Watch, he stopped. I'm just showing you. These people just driving around, robbing people at random. Watch. They are marking in. They just see him by his car. Watch him. Hey, audio. Look at this. Right in Kuva. Craziness, watch. Craziness. Craziness. He can helpless, watch. Helpless. Helpless. He had to walk away, somebody thief my car. But I put so much a big stone and mash up everything, yes? Hi, caller, good evening. Your life and crime. Look, we have, we have anybody's monitoring that what's happening there? Yes, good evening. Hello? Hi, caller, good evening. Good evening, Ian. Good evening, Ian. Nice to meet you, and Blessings to you and the family and the whole, and the whole of Canada to the world. Ian, do you know? With an alleged, or from what I understand, do you know that is ten percent of the police service today is on suspension? Yeah, and do you know, lady? 10%, 10 I want to ask you, ninety-eight, ninety-eight. I want to ask you something. Is it true yes. that police work only two days, only only two, um, two days on and two days off? That only happens in certain places like GB. We so GB have twenty-four forty-eight. You work 24 hours on, you're up for 48 hours. So when, they, so when, so when you they check a year, so, so when you check a year, they work for half of the year then? Yeah, well, basically, but look at it this way, Ian. When you work 24 hours and you're up for two days, like three days, 
So for the week you're working actually 48 hours, correct? 24 yeah. and 24, yeah. correct? Yeah. So we don't, so we, we, we don't have a shift and done the whole thing? Have a shift and done the whole thing? Let people work. have a shift and done the whole thing? Exactly. Have a exactly. night shift, have a day shift, and exactly. just run it like that. Because when you really check, when you really check our policeman working, he only working half of the year. Half of the year. Is that so, and so, plus, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Plus the end. He got 20 and he got four, four weeks vacation. That's 28 days. Plus, plus, listen to this one. And that's only when you become a full plus police officer. Plus, you have the holiday. I think there are about 20 something holidays in a year in Trinidad and Tobago. Plus, your you four weeks, you get the holiday. The holidays no, we, 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 that that, that needs to change. You get five weeks at home. That needs to change. Thanks again, 98. Hold on, before we run, I just, want, I just want to tell you that in February, today's Monday, 26, we have done 1.2 million plus 16,615 advertisers. For the year, we have crossed 3 million already. And, and these are people who have seen your ads and your videos. And remember, we don't end at 7. We don't end at 7, ladies and gentlemen. We end at quarter past 7, so we continue on all the platforms. Let's go with that. Nice madness. Management. Management problem. Management problem. Management problem. You can't tell me, we just have a shift. Like any normal shift. We have, a, we, we have camera crew. We have a day shift. We have a night shift. And we cover everything. We cover everything. That is, and that is what they need. And just pay them. And pay them properly. Pay them properly. Police should be paid properly. You understand that? Four percent. But everybody wants to live big life and treat police like dog. That is all. You're telling me two days. And, and when I'm going to check it. Only working for half. So instead of getting all this police and more taxpayers' money, focus on what we have, change up the structure, and that's it. Change it up. Have a night shift, have a day shift, have who on, who off today. And big companies that do it, 2 to 10, who work in 10 to 6, 2 to 10, who, 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 and do the thing like that. And people get more money and give the police what they deserve. Give them what they deserve. Because when you check it as, as now, police only work half a year. Out of 365 days for the year, you work half of that, almost half. Could be a little more. Hi, caller, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. We have more videos. To, so let's show you what's happening in, in, um, in Marval right now. In Marval, I'm hitting you in Bayard Street right now. We have a body was, uh, a man was shot on the road. That is Bayard Street. All these videos can be seen on my fan page. That is one. Then in Marval again, ladies and gentlemen, Okay, you've seen people on the road, Baird Street. Okay. Go ahead. This is where the two persons were shot in Marval a short while ago. Two bodies in a car. And also police shot at this guy in Marval a short time ago also. So Marval running hot. We have camera crew up there. Okay, they did a shooting somewhere. We can't say if, if they were responsible for Baird Street or the other two in the vehicle. But nevertheless, shots was fired. There was an exchange of gunfire. Police intercepted this car. So it's a lot happening right now. High call. High, high call. Marvel is hot. Ladies and gentlemen, the suspect wanted in connection with the murder of Lucas Simmons was arrested along with two others during an intelligence del operation in Claxton on Sunday. Between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., officers from Southern Division searched an abandoned house along St. John Road Bay where they found three male occupants, one of which was wanted for, for, inv for investigation to reports of two homicides. The officers searched the suspect identified as Mark, a.k.a. Westside, and discovered one revolver with five rounds of .38 ammunition. The other suspect was caught with 13 grams of cocaine and was arrested for possession of cocaine for the purpose of trafficking, while the third was arrested for possession of a cannabis weighing 68 grams. All three men were taken to the Maribella police station. All three men were taken to Maribella police station. So remember the suspect involved in the shooting at KFC? Um, he's been identified as Lucas Simmons, was arrested along with two others. Remember the, the guy who fired the shots and whatnot? Just to let you know, all those of you who are looking at me up the islands, down the islands, Wherever, all over the world, we have persons from Kenya looking. I spoke to, I spoke to uh, someone from Kenya who's locked on. Well, the time difference is 
when it's around 11 o'clock, it's night in Kenya, all kind of thing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, hey, today's Peko birthday. Hi, Peko. What's happening? Happy birthday to Peko. Yeah, happy birthday to Peko. Want to say a special hello to him. Today's his Pe Peko birthday. I knew Peko from Pierre Road, you know. He did, a, he did some work at a, friend's, um, a friend of mine's home, and that is many, many years ago. We used to lime, and, lime with him and cook up and whatnot, and then his name is Peko. All right, today is his birthday. And strange enough, some, some guys, who, the, the, guy, the, the boys who sell doubles, they said that's their uncle. I can't believe it because I know Pekka real good, man. I had to message them back. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a businessman was allegedly abducted, robbed, and left tied up to a tree in Coover on Friday. Again, I repeat, a businessman was allegedly abducted and robbed and left, to, left tied up to a tree on Friday. The victim was identified as 26-year-old Ashad Mohammed, a bar owner of Gandhi Village, Debi, around 11 a.m. Mohammed was reportedly driving his red Nissan X-Trail along Rahama Trace after he was dropped off by his after he dropped off his mother at a garden their, their, their family owns in the area when he stopped to remove a chain along the perimeter. After he turned to his vehicle, he was confronted by two men, one of which was armed with a firearm. The suspect then informed the victim that if he resisted, he would be killed. The assailant then bung Mohammed hand and feet together before they placed him in the back seat of his SUV and demanded a hundred thousand TT while they, while, when, when they, when, while, they, while they assaulted him. However, the victim informed his brother that he did not have access to the amount of cash. The suspect then drove to a forested area at Phoenix Park in California where they forced the victim out of the vehicle and used a seatbelt to tie him against a tree. The suspect subsequently fled the scene in Mohammed's SUV. Mohammed allegedly spent several hours calling for help. However, around 4 p.m. that day, someone heard him alerted the police. Officers on Coover CID, led by PC Chapman, responded and found the victim tied to a coconut tree. They, 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 they cut him down from the tree and took him to the Coover District Health Facility, where he was treated and later transferred to San Fernando. So imagine they tied this man up on a tree. Could you believe that? They abducted the businessman and this is what's happening. This is what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. And while the, all this is happening, everybody's playing politics and politics. I saw an MP insulting a, a group of residents and apparently it seemed like a tongue meeting or something. Very dista distasteful behavior displayed by the MP. Very, very distasteful behavior displayed by the MP. Very, very distasteful behavior. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going back to Marval, the bear sheet with this guy lying on the ground there. They're apparently, they're saying that this is the guy. So let my camera people stay up there, stay up there, stay up there. They, they will leave there hours from now. This is bear Street. Okay. We're hearing that this is the man, right? Okay. You see how it's important to send someone on a scene? So we make sure that those who are looking will get exactly what's happening. They will know exactly what's happening. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, all you need to do is to download the app. Download the app on your iPhone, your Android phone, the Ian Allen app. And those of you can look back at the show tonight at, uh, on ianallen.org. Ian Allen you can look at the show on ianallen.org or Ian Allen Network on YouTube, Ian Allen Network on Facebook. Okay? All right, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen... Uh, Peter Anthony Morgan, the leader of the Grammy Award. Well, I just wanted to tell you too that Peter Anthony Morgan, the lead singer of Grammy Award winning band Morgan Heritage, passed away at, his, at the age of 46. He's so young. Somehow I feel like I, I knew Peter since I was small. The Morgan Heritage. Okay. From timeless tracks, I don't have you dread to be rust. He sang that song. You don't have you dread to be rasta. This is not a yeah. This is not an uh, uh, thing. Drink that uh, 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 and that song. You don't have you dread to be rasta. Uh, was he rasta this song? Come to Bago. You know this song. Well, he's rent a dread, you know. Well, it's not a real true dread thing, you know. He sang that song, Down by the River, and she's still loving. You, you know, but you know what song I Every time I remember this song, I, every, every, 
every time. Those days, I had a, 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 our office up as in, when we were working in Chagonas, and they had this bar called Kobe's. It was on the main road, Chagonas main road. I think we had Dilip Singh and them at the mall now. And every day they used to play this song. What's the name of this song? I walk away from love once more. I walk away from love once more. I walk away from love once more. Like I've always done before. Woo! Every day they play that song, for, like for years, for years. And everybody dancing the same way, with, 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 with a, a, a beer in their hand, and I didn't do that. But I tell you, Shogunas is the best, yes? Shogunas is the best. I have to big up my boys and them from Shogunas, my clip. Like my clip, my partners and them. It's a Shogunas thing. You understand? I'm never too big, I'm never too big, I'm never too big. This man and my mother and them is real friend. Everybody from Xavier Street. Ladies and gentlemen, also, um, just to let you know, a man is yet to be identified drunk while bathing at Tyrico on Monday, the 26th. This is the fourth drunk in recorded country for the year thus far, just on, the, just on Monday, the 19th of February. Sheldon Ford of Lendorville Enterprise drunk while bathing in Cora. This is the fellow who drunk in Cora. This is the guy. Someone I know him. This fella, no wait, this fella when he had drunk today, there's the pullback from Cora. That's the last drunk, and this is the fella. But somehow I feel like I know Sheldon, boy. I know Sheldon Ford, boy. Somehow I feel like I know Sheldon Ford, boy. And today it was a drunk in Tyrico. You saw, you saw where the, the, um, the, some, some um, lifeguard was assaulted, allegedly assaulted. Also, we'll go with that tomorrow. Um, a man died after a tree branch fell on him in Beach on Saturday. The scene was identified as 50 or Samaru Ragunanan from Beach. On Saturday night, Ragunanan was reported with fellow residents in a forest camp off La Zale, La Zale Road. The Sal Road and Beach when he left to look for branches to make fishing rods. When Ragnar did not return after some time, his, his friends went to look for him and found the lifeless body almost 200 feet away from the camp. La Salle, that's how you pronounce that? La Salle, oh La Salle. You see, friend, you go in no forest with no friend now. Nah. I know, you know, no, no river line with no friend now. Nah. Friend just come up with all kind of idea when you're dead, yes? All kind of thing. Everybody got one story. What branch, what branch could fall on his soul and kill this man, boy? What branch could fall on this man's soul? When Ragnar did not return after some time, his friends went to look for him and found his lifeless body almost 200 feet away. So they didn't hear when this man was bawling or something? Let's wait for the autopsy. Let's wait for the autopsy. You know, a similar incident that, that took place on the 2nd of September last year, 2023, when 38 year old Omar Dad Passad, the Ministry of Work employee of Little Coral Road, Sandy Grandi, died after a tree branch fell on him near his home. You all remember that? Yeah. He was a, a, ministry, of, a ministry of Works employee. A tree branch, you know. You know, yesterday also, but Saturday, Saturday marked two years since the four divers with, with, with yesterday, um, that's Saturday, marked two years since the four divers with Land and Marine Contracting Services, LMC, has died after being sucked into a 30-inch pipeline at birth number six at Point Appear on Saturday, relative when well-wishers took to the streets of Kuva in a peace march to highlight their dis displeasure over government handling of the issue, as well as to share fond memories of the deceased Rashid Nagasa, Faisal Kurban, Kazim Ali Jr., and Yusuf Henry. Let's go. I want to say a video by Ivan Tulsi. Go ahead. And heartless can they be, my brothers and sisters? These families, the brethren of these families have gone. They have gone, my brothers and sisters. The recommendation by the Commission of Inquiry my gosh, you heard it, right? 
And we are saying, beyond all that, the Prime Minister is saying, no compensation. How heartless, how clueless, how vicious the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago can be. Where is the compassion, Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley? Where is the compassion for these families who have lost their loved ones? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. As we walk through, as we go through. This is something I miss all the time. And this one is that I'm very much happy that everybody that came out and took their Saturday, you know, to spend with us. This is the clarion call for the justice. Uh -huh. So you, I don't understand. You swear by twenty persons, <laughs> yeah. So go, make sure all those videos are on my on my arms. Okay, I, I think I have. An, I think again something again here. All right. So we open up the lines. Hi, caller. Good evening. But you know, I'm just looking at that video, and it's really, really sad. Yeah, with respect to. The, the ex-DCP was dropped off his vehicle in Barataria. Hmm. An ex-Deputy ex Commissioner of Police was robbed of his vehicle in Barataria. The victim was identified as 76-year-old Oswell Allard. Oswell Allard. We have that, a photograph of him. Everybody knows him. He's a thin, tall guy. Oh, he's 76, Oswell Allard. Make sure go to the police website and see if you can get a photograph of it. Everybody knows Oswin Allard. Everybody. I know him and all too. Former Deputy Commissioner of Police from Barataria. Around 2 a.m. Allard was reported sleeping in his white Nissan Amara registration PB0938 outside his home with the door open when a man approached and dragged him out of the vehicle. The suspect then entered the vehicle and fled the scene. The police were notified officers went in search. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if I could ever get back that video. You know, it's it had a police called Big Bird, long time in Shogunas. Anybody know about that? A policeman called Big Bird? This is serious talk, a policeman called Big Bird. They used to call him Big Bird. You know, many, many years ago, about, could be, well, a good few years ago, before COVID and thing. That man, I saw that man displaced walking on the road in Coover, on Rivulet Road. Yeah. He's been identified as Big Bird, a policeman. I don't know what ever became of him. I don't know if he got help. I don't know, but he was displaced. I could not believe it. You know, they say after one is two, boy, after one is ready to. And imagine when a deputy deputy come. I don't think this guy would have known the, de the, the, the deputy commissioner, the ex DCP. He's 76 year old. He was in his car. There's about 2 a.m. sleeping in the whiteness and I'm the door open. A man come and just drag him out of the car and take the car and go on. You, but you know, in October the 7th, on a, let me give you a little scores. October the 7th, 2018, Allard's son, Mark Allard was shot and killed in Patriots Extension, Lendor Village. You all remember that? I have that story, you know. Yeah, I have that. That is Mark Allard. That is in Patriots Extension to Lendor Village, Shogunas. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Bandits were detained after beating and robbing occupants of a vehicle in Omera Road on Sunday, the 25th of February. That's all I have right now. All we know, watch me, come out of the car. Just come out of the car. Apparently, they were like a, a robbery. And they were, watch me, this man locked down the zone. And this one, there's this policeman. You'll see all of them being transferred, transported after. Watch. Normal, normal. I saw what? He coming from by you or why are we taking so long? Oh, I thought he was coming from by you. <laughs> There's one of the suspects. Okay. We he wrong boy? 
It's young, young fellas, you know. Young, young fellas, you know. Bandits were detained after beating and robbing occupants of a vehicle in Omera Road, Arima, on Sunday. Well, thank I think the police doing good, you know. A man was arrested for a robbery in Bonaco, Tobago, on Sunday. Around 2.45 a.m., the victim was reportedly walking towards his vehicle, which was parked near a nightclub in Mount Pleasant Boulevard, Bonacord, when a man approached him. The suspect pulled out a fire and announced a robbery before another man who was armed with a gun appeared. The suspect then relieved the victim of his wallet containing 1,200 TTA driver's permit, identification card, and a blue Samsung Note 20 cell phone. Before they fled the scene, the victim reported the incident to the divisional task force who conducted the further inquiries and found items belonging to him close to the vehicle. Acting on information received, officers intercepted a 20-year-old man from the village street and conducted a search where they found the stolen Samsung Note 20 cellular, one visa credit card, a fake fire, a fake firearm, and 1.5 grams. So he robbed the people with a fake gun. Still, but you get caught. You get caught. But ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Oh, just to let you know, this is a very interesting one. We're going to run with all these things tomorrow. But three men were expected to appear before a master of a court of the court early today to answer charges of uttering fake forged central bank checks. The three accused were identified as Gabriel Rambley, Julian Martinez, and Sean Martin. We have photographs of them. Rambley also faces three counts of assaulting police officers in the execution of their duty and trying to escape lawful custody. Three were arrested and charged on Saturday after they attempted to change fraudulent checks on Thursday, 22nd of February. Rambley allegedly went to the cash, a central bank check in the sum of $8,383. Drawn to the account of the Ministry of National Security, however, upon verification of the check and his, identifi and his identification card, present both were discovered to be fraudulent shortly after another report was made where two men attempted to cash central bank checks bearing the respective num sums. A so three of them had the same amount of money, but nevertheless, they were caught and um, taken to St. James Police Station. So the three men were identified as Gabriel Rambley, Runback Estamoria, Julian Martinez, and Sean. Sean Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. We are out of time. I hope that this day, I hope that, you know, there's so much I had to tell you today. So much I really, really had to tell you. But nevertheless, it's Monday. So I tried my best to get everything to you out there. And remember, keep looking at Ian Allen Network on YouTube, Ian Allen Network on, on Facebook and download the apps and make sure that everything where our camera crew is currently on the scene, you're gonna get teaser videos, you're gonna know what's happening. You know, every media house out there is onto my website, onto my pages, onto everything that I do, because they know this is where you get the news. So that's why it makes no sense. And from tomorrow, news before news. Remember that, slam it like that, boom! News before news, okay? This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. What's up me on 2944081? Let me know what's happening. Uh, so you have a wonderful night. And all those who have been looking from all over the world, you'll be good. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Yo.